Welcome to the Southland Senior Resource Series. I'm your host, Helen Morgan, bringing you a resource of experts serving senior adults by providing awareness, education, support, and honest answers to the many issues impacting our aging population. With over 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every day, we want to make sure these topics are relevant. And I have with me today, it's my pleasure to have Gwen Stirk from Stirk Family Law as our guest. And we're going to be covering um, taking care of business. You got it. So today, and I know you just heard the dog bark, which I think is so cute because yeah. Duke is here and he barked because it's part of the life. And one of the things, I'll just going to bring it out, <laughs> taking care of business for seniors also deals with their pets. Absolutely. And so you should have a whole series on that. But today we're just going to talk Absolutely. generally about taking care of business. But taking care of business for seniors is so important because, you know, the thing about life is we don't know when it's going to happen. And life comes in stages and in seasons. And what happens at the end of the day is, is that suddenly you find yourself in a crisis mode. And that's what all of us have experienced. Yes. So taking care of business early is what we all need to do. That taking care of business is taking your estate plan seriously. You know, it's the elephant in the room. Do you want to talk about it, really? I'm going to die. Right? We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Point, right? We're going to be born. We're, we die. We're born and we die. But for certain religious beliefs right. might have some intervention there in between. Exactly. But nevertheless, exactly. those are two things that we know are going to happen. And so taking care of business is important. So taking care of business includes dealing with the senior piece but you know what it also includes the extended family because when you have a senior in your family you also have children and other caretakers and a whole network of people that have to come together to plan for the future yes. and i find myself in those various stages of life as i get older it's time to take care of business for us personally and also for parents right Absolutely, absolutely. And so my own experience in Cirque Family Law just recently added the estate planning piece here. And the reason why we add the estate planning piece is because I learned so much going through a recent illness with my mother. She fell February 1st, 2017. And let me tell you, that put our life in a spin. And the year before that, we had taken her from her home and placed her in a townhome. And so that was the first step. She got some of her, I, you know, her will was in place for many years, got her powers of attorney in place. But then you know what? She fell and life changed that day. Yes. And many times that's what it is. It's a crisis. It's situation. a crisis. It's a fall. It's a it's heart attack. A, right. it's whatever it is. You know, we don't know the day or the hour. And so it was that fall that then required us to take immediate action. What were the plans going to be? She wasn't in a position to make all decisions for herself and didn't yes. know exactly what to do. So having the power of attorney for property, the power of attorney for health care, knowing who was going to make the decisions if she didn't and getting all of that in place was so important. But you got to do it early. And that's why we're doing what we're it's doing here. It's timing. And I think, you it know, I, I mean, I think it's a great asset that you've brought on an estate planning attorney. And I'm sure that a lot of this with your own mother is it's the what reason we, that, is. It's that, truth. that yeah. triggered it, right? Absolutely. So Donna Otis does that work here. But, you know, it's the will. It's whether or not you need a trust, what powers of attorneys you're going to put in place. All those items have to be taken into consideration. But also not just providing those services because the reality is, I can't control mom and dad, nor can you, right? <laughs> we certainly cannot. That's right. So you have the other side of the piece, which are the people who come in and say, you know what? My mom's suffering from dementia. Dad's passed and we need to take some action because there's fires on the stove. She's burning right. the hot dog because she forgets that she started it. And so we have right. to take care of the guardianship. So that's another service that we provided that service for years because the bottom line is, is that's tough. It's a tough right. crossroads. But there's a point in time when you have to take over and say, decisions have to be made for mom in a certain set of circumstances. Right. And so many times, you know, I think what our audience does not realize is there is there are times that it's too late right. to do an estate plan. You just described a perfect example of that, Gwen. Right, because as a post case, then you're going in and getting that guardianship because you didn't have the powers of attorney right. in place. But in addition to that, you know what else is troubling is the fact that most of us don't have a care plan. I've changed my attitude. 
I don't call it retirement anymore. Right. I call it who's going to care for me when I get old. Exactly. So as I go through life exactly. and I go to work every day, I've now, I'm fundraising and I'm fundraising right. for my future for because you. the reality is, is that we're all going to need care because right. we live longer as a general rule of thumb. What are you going to do? Are you going to be at your own home? Are you going to have an individual right. caretaker? Is it going to be 24 hours? Is it going to be eight hours a day? Who's going to take care of the lawn? And I absolutely agree with you. I tell my clients this all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what? Creating a plan early right. for all of those issues is what it's all about. I mean, you know, we can we can deal with any issue if we have a plan. I That's think right. you recently shared with me that you were you were considering putting an elevator in. Absolutely, you know? because the plan has to be that we're going to have the ability to go up and down the stairs. And when we built the house, we put the elevator shaft in knowing, hey, we don't need the elevator now, but there's going to come a point in time when that's going to have to be put in place. Exactly. And so that's a critical thing. And it sounds like such a simple or complex thing. You know, years ago, people think, oh, what do you need an elevator for, you weird people? Well, but yeah. at the same time, now that we're older and you have difficulty walking and you might right. get into a situation where you're in a wheelchair, look yeah. at what that's going to do for us into the future. Absolutely. So yeah. that's that planning element. It's having the plan. And also it's the fact of what is it that you want to do? Do you play well with others? Frankly, Mom, my mother wouldn't admit this, and this is something I don't know that I should say on the air, but right. I'm going to take a risk. Go she wouldn't it. do well in a home. Sorry. Right. She doesn't like the food. She doesn't like the people. She needs to have her own dishes around and right. her own things around. So that wasn't a plan for her. So knowing your parent, knowing what the plan needs to be is also a critical element. And that's something that, did mom make those decisions or did you have to help guide her? We had to help guide her because mom didn't know what to do, but mom wanted to go home. We knew that. Yes, and most do. And most do. And, you know, there were things that mom could do and couldn't. She didn't want to leave her home of all those years, but that had to be the first step moving forward. But it's taking care of business. It's talking about that elephant in the room. And, you know, sometimes, let's all face it, there's also crisis in the families of who's going to make those decisions for mom, who's going to do the work, and who's going to put up the money. And I'm not going to talk about that in detail, but no. we all know that that's also a critical aspect of what has to happen. And somebody takes that load as a general rule of thumb, don't you agree? And yes, and no matter what, the, what size the family is, don't you, right. don't you think there's always one person right. that takes on that role? And you know, that brings mm -hmm. up a whole nother level of family dynamics that have to be worked through. Yes. You know, life's not easy, it's tough. It and it's a is. rough road because there has to be those difficult conversations, there has to be that difficult arrangement made mm -hmm. there's a cost with that arrangement what do you do when you run out of money what are the plans how long are they going to live right. and you know what i'm sorry but nobody's entitled to inheritance you agree, I agree with that i absolutely agree we need you to get what? past that in we, life we have to take care of our loved ones that's right today yep. now why they're living and it's our responsibility to do that and so putting together a family structure you know and i also think that not just the estate planning piece, but we have resources here, and you're probably seeing oh. that on the podcast here, but yes. there's resources from therapists that deal with senior issues, counseling that can be done. Some families have to go to mediation to figure out what they're gonna do, right? Exactly, I mean, you have such a wealth of resources here at, at your law firm. I mean, no one's doing what you're doing well, I appreciate to help support that. the community. And I appreciate that, but think about how important that is though. I mean, oh. you've got to have all of that plan in place. So today, the urge, the call for everybody on your senior piece as you're going through and you're, you know, Helen, I respect you because you're going to embark on this road of so many different issues. Yes. Okay, let's try one. How about, how about, the EOBs and how about the Medicare statements and trying to match up the supplemental insurance? Now that is something, you know, I mean, that is just something that everyone, I don't care what age you are, you're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed with and that. you're frustrated. And there is no way that our seniors can navigate this on their no own. And I'm still struggling with a bill from two years ago from my mom and every month I write them back you still haven't applied for the supplemental insurance right. but you know sometimes seniors get that and then they just pay the bill because they think they owe it and that's what they're supposed to and do and they pay it many times right many, you know because they keep sending things duplicate right. bills you know and they think they owe three times what right. they owe so you know, all of those issues you know having a plan who's going to take care of your Medicare piece? Who's going to take care of the paperwork? Who's going to take care of your individual care? And let's right. talk about your private care, your public care, going out, holidays, 
There are so many different pieces right. here. So figuring out how you're going to take care of business, talking about the elephant in the room and coming up with a plan is key. So it if is. there was any message today, we've added that piece to our firm. It's the legal side. It's only one piece though of that holistic approach. And so again, yeah. that's what you're doing here in this series. He's talking about holistically, what do we have to do to deal with our issues as we grow old? Absolutely, and I, I totally agree with you by taking that holistic approach. And that's what I, I really admire about your firm is that you take a holistic approach on every case. You have to. And yeah. you know, more people need to do that. Right. Let's plan ahead, you know, let's figure it out. But let's be honest too, just for a second, because I do want to interject this. We're all not perfect. I'm not perfect. There's pieces of my estate plan I still don't have done that I still wonder about. Well, you know, I changed my mind. So I get it. If you're struggling out there and you feel paralyzed by this process, I'm with you. But we do have to take those steps. And it's a challenge and a call to me and you as much yes. as it is to everybody else. Because yes. I don't want this to sound like, oh, well, we've got all the perfect pieces. No, and it evolves and changes not. all the time, right? We do not. And that's the reason for doing this, right. this series is so that we can hopefully get the answers, the honest answers, the truth about what we need to do in everyday life so that all of us can be more prepared because we're all gonna age, let's face it. Right. You know, yep. our birthdays come every and if we're year, lucky if enough, we're lucky. If we're lucky, and if we're lucky <laughs> if enough we're lucky. to have parents, we have that responsibility as well. We have that responsibility to care for our loved ones. You That's know, right. they they have, they cared for us our entire life. Right, it's and those now roles are reverse. Turn. It's now our turn yep. to give back. And so if there were one, if there was one thing you could tell me, Gwen, as far as our aging parents that do not have a plan, have not had a trust or a will and um, there's a crisis situation what would be the absolute must-have documents to have in place I think that they have to have a will potentially a trust but also the powers of attorney we forget about that the power of attorney for health care and property to make sure that somebody can act on your behalf in that crisis and if you don't have them done and your parent is still available pick them up call an office get in there Call our firm, we'll make an appointment and take care of it. If we have to go to your home, we'll do what we have to do to take care of business with you. Gwen, thank you so much because I know many people do not have those documents in a crisis situation. And tell me this, how can our audience reach you? They can contact us by going to sturkfamilylaw.com. They can call us at 815-600-8950 and they can schedule an appointment to meet with our estate planning lawyer or to do whatever it is, we will help you to the extent we can to get these documents done and start addressing your needs. And if you're in a crisis, call us. Just because the crisis is there doesn't mean it's over. We can go to the hospital with you. We can go to mom's home, we can go to dad's house. We'll do what it takes with you that's within our legal ability to do so. Wonderful, thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing this valuable information with us, Gwen. And you heard Gwen, call call today. If you have any questions, don't wait until it's a crisis situation. I want to thank you for thank joining you. me today. And I'd also like to thank our, our sponsors, which is Stirk Family Law and Southland TV and Resource 55. If you have any further questions you, and would like to be a guest on the show, please contact me directly, Helen Morgan at 708-712-84. Nine, three. And let's take care of business. Yes, let's.